This is the passage I have been looking for. Begun searching the marsh for the ruins of Corvus. This stinking, festering swamp is punctuated by worn blocks of stone. Perhaps these ancient sentinels are all that remain of the proud Nephilim city. No, there is more to be found. I know it. the ruined Nephilim city. When I stepped into the buried catacomb, I felt a stirring in my blood. And then a wondrous thing, a dim light began to glow all around me, not cast by any torch. It was as though the very stones acknowledged my presence. <laughs> is weak.
This is as far as you go. Catch up to me when it is done. You're going to kill her, aren't you? I will do what is right. We are all counting on you. a strong connection to the light that it granted them powers far beyond our own but i believe that through the light they can be reborn in us thus i have consecrated westmark a shining beacon in the west i have taken from my sigil the wolf of corbin and proclaimed myself king. a decade later the power of the nephilim still escapes me 
Something long ago stole it from them and keeps it hidden, even today. I have found mention of an artifact called the World Stone, hidden in the barbarian lands. Now that my son is born, I have rallied my banners to ride to war against them. <laughs> Ready yet. The ancient smile on me. See where you've been hiding, Malfiel. Adria. The angels will never suffer us to live. They cannot accept the fact that we may choose our own path. At least demons are not so rigid in their beliefs. I have done what I can to ensure it. He always finds a way. In your heart of hearts, you know this. Before she died, Adria conjured an image of pandemonium. She was searching for Malthiel, so he must be there. See? Aren't you happy I didn't tell you beforehand that Adria would turn into a hideous monster? Why would that possibly make me happy? You're so much more effective when you're stewing in blind rage, thirsting for revenge. We wouldn't want you to peak too early. Petty details would have just served to distract you. Duchess was possessed by an all-consuming rage. As Zai had stolen what was most valuable to Duchess, he would take from Zai all that he held dear. I would have killed him. Duchess took something much more dear than Zai's life. His joy. He killed everyone Zai had loved and held dear. Oh, then he slew Diria. Her light went out from the heavens. The seas wept. 
and waves of their tears crashed upon the shore. Now we know. Malthael is in Pandemonium. No doubt he has gone to the fortress. Malthael can hold out there until the end of time. He is forcing us to come to him. He is a coward, hiding until he has enough power to confront me. The only way to Pandemonium is through the high heavens. Let us leave at once. Are you looking for somebody? Oh, it's my children. They're out playing a game, but I'll find them soon enough. I now know death better than I know the shape of my hand or my own sword. Hendel charged into battle at my side. I'd known him since I enlisted, but when I looked at him that night, I had a vision. I saw the faces of the men he had killed, and I saw that he would not live to see the morning. According to the records, King Rackus had a strong jaw, hair as black as night, and wore gleaming armor over his muscular... Sorry, what was I talking about? Every time Westmarch is invaded, a hero appears to save it. History is much easier to write with a strong protagonist. Rakus and his sons built much of Westmarch during their time. The ruins and the marshes outside the city may be their work, too. Of course, whenever I ask the Crown for gold to further my excavations, there's always a more pressing matter at hand. <laughs> 